I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories and force hands in those categories. This is not for the faint of heart. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to alternate between the dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then we'll get 13 tiles, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, pair of red dragons, a flower, two, four, six, seven in bams, one, two, seven in cracks, four, eight in dots with a pair of eights. If these were your tiles, which category would you force and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would force 2468. We have 246, 248. I don't know if we can use this. If we get a six dot, we could play 2468 dragon, second hand down. And we have a challenge, like numbers. I would not pass that. So I probably would let this two go. Pass these three. Two dot. Here's another dragon. Here's a three. Three seven. Dragons. Two four six eight dragon. Two four six eight dragon. I was thinking about a pair hand, but there is no pair hand up here. We're forcing hands in these categories. Let's pass these. Okay, we got a six, two, four, six, eight, dragon, two, four, six, eight. We could use that for the missing eight for the hand with flowers, the first one. Or we could play two, four, six, eight, dragon. Let's let the four dot go. This is going to be a little risky there. Another thing we could do is play four, five, six, opposite consecutive run. And that is a hand on the cat on the card here building around this multiple. Hmm. We definitely don't need the green dragon probably and the three. Two, four, six, eight in one suit. Hmm. I was just thinking there's a concealed hand that uses two. We gave up the two dot, I think. Two dot, four, six, eight dot. Let's pass these three. We got the two. Okay, so here's, here's that hand. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe we'll get the two back. 
Here's another pair of twos. Two, four, six. We have a gap. No eight. Bam. We have tiles we can pass. Let's let the red dragon go. Flower. I think I would maybe focus on this hand. Two, four, six, eight. We can use this to help with the two. Oh, we got the eight. Okay. Now the two, four, six, eight hand with flowers, we only need one, two. So we'd have to let that go. We're on cross. We have to pass three. So let's see. Let's use the flowers and let a two go. And this way we could still maybe play two, four, six, eight, or we could play two, four, six, eight. Let's pass these. We got an eight crack. I don't think that's going to be helpful though. Oh, we got a five, four, five, six. We can let that go. Four, five, six flowers. Two, four, six, eight, no gaps. Two, four, six, eight. Let's pass two. Last right. We got a six crack. That's not helpful though. Let's pass two for optional. We got an eight and a white dragon. I don't think that's going to help though. But we've got lots of options in here. We could play the first two, four, six, eight hand, no gaps. We could play two, four, six, eight concealed, no gaps. I think that's the strongest way to go. It is concealed though, but we have no gaps. So I think what I would do is let these go. Hold on to two, four, six, eight and see what happens. Two, four, six, eight. That was a pretty good result. We have five discards though. Let's see, five discards either way. Six discards with Joker bait. Oh, four discards for this. Oh, no, five. Five discards or four discards with Joker bait. I would hold the two, four, six, eight. Let those go. We have a joker, flower, south, red, one, three, five, nine, pair of nines in dots, three bam, one, two, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, which of these would you focus on? Consecutive run or winds and dragons? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the nines and try for consecutive run, but I would hold the south because we could maybe do north and south with nines. Consecutive run. There is a dragon hand with opposite dragons for nines. Seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of all these little tiles. Maybe we could pass one of each suit. We have a six, little numbers. 
let's pass let's see here one of each suit three four little numbers little numbers two three four five big numbers are not coming in two three four five two three four five I think I would let these go and I would focus on the run two three four five one two three four let's let these go and see what happens actually maybe what we should do is keep that and let that go oh now we get the big numbers seven eight nine seven nine we have a pung in there now five seven nine there's an odd hand but we are playing consecutive run or wins in dragons maybe what we could do is play five through nine consecutive run all right, we're going to regroup and focus on five through nine. One of each suit. There's a flower and an eight. Oh, redemption. Redemption right there. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's see. Seven, eight, nine opposite dragons seven eight nine opposite dragons we'd have to let the flowers go i think i would keep the flowers and break that up a little bit maybe two five like that we got a nine we're playing consecutive run though oh we did pick up fours but I do if we get everything we want here I would still want to pass and we're we have no gaps here so I would probably go ahead and break this up it wouldn't be good joker bait in the early game joker bait works in the middle game there's a six single pair pung kong that's probably what I would play six hand down under consecutive run single pair pung kong and I would pass fully. Wow, look at all these dots. Single pair Pung Kong. We could Pung here and Kong here. We just need to build up our flowers and maybe get a seven dot. That was not too bad for this consecutive run hand. Okay, we have a flower, pair of East, red dragon, two, five, six, seven in dots with a pair of twos, two, three, four, eight in bams, and a six crack. We need to force wins in dragons, so I would keep the East, the red, and even the twos, because there is a year hand in the wind and dragon category. I would keep these, any two. So let's pass one of each suit we got a two wow look at all these twos we could play east and west with twos maybe if we can get the west here's an eight here's four two four six eight but we're forcing winds and dragons so let's break these up so that we have good passes here's another two let's pass these three 
north and south. Okay. We might be able to play the big ear hand in here, but we're forcing winds and dragons. We'll keep going. <gasps> Whoa, dragons. Wow, look at that. News with dragons. Or east and west with twos. We have to make a choice right now. We're passing across, so we have to pass three. East and west with twos. Or news with dragons. Seven tiles. Seven tiles. We're in between. We've got one multiple here, two multiples, three multiples there. Let's pass these and focus on the twos. Flower. We have tiles we can pass. West. We got the West. Here's five, seven. East and West with twos, fourth hand down. We'll pass these. This is a little risky, but we have no gaps. No keepers. I would hold the flowers for maybe like numbers as a plan B, but I think east and west with twos has some really good potential here. Oops. Discard those. Winds and dragons with a plan B. If you're forcing hands, have a plan B, especially if it's weak. We do have no gaps and two of the pairs. We could use jokers to help us with our Kongs. That was not too bad. If you have a set of tiles at home, I challenge you to try Charleston Force. Pre-select three categories, just like we did in this exercise. Force hands in those categories and let me know how you do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.